Hi folks, this is Rebecca Cope, Program Director here at Historic Yates Mill County Park, and I am sitting on our Pond Study Overlook Deck behind the Park Center on the eastern side of Yates Mill Pond. And normally we have lots of school children who would be sitting on this deck and looking for various wildlife around the pond. The first thing we always have folks do is sort of look way across to the other side of the pond to see what they might spot. And normally there's not much to look at, but here comes a great blue heron. Let's see if we can get a good, good view of them. So we talk about the fact that the pond has a nice shoreline, lots of vegetation, and then that there's the littoral zone, the shallow water area where we love to have the kids look for little fish, macroinvertebrates, like larval insects of different kinds like dragonflies, damselflies, caddisflies, tiny worms. We have leeches too, tiny little leeches. Ooh, that's dizzying. <laughs> we also love for the kids to look at the surface of the water. where we tend to find, this is going to be dizzying, but where we tend to find things like water striders. You might be able to see one right in the center, not moving in the waves. They use the surface tension to sort of skate their way across the surface of the pond, the meniscus of the water there. Are you dizzy yet? <laughs> and then other than looking for flying birds or ducks, depending on the time of the year, looking for spider webs and things like that, we then have them get down on their bellies so that they can get a real close look down here. And of course we have them listen. We actually do an exercise where we have them be quiet for 10 seconds and I count in my head. And that always seems to work hearing the sounds of frogs calling right now. But they'll spend that 10 seconds looking for different kinds of animals. And then we have them use their pretend x-ray vision to look down here below the overlook deck to see what kinds of wildlife they might see. Hello again, this is Rebecca. So now we're in my office and I've taken a pond sample and a couple little bits of vegetation because tiny little animals, invertebrates, like to hang out and take shelter under that. So just to start with, we'll just kind of look at this with our own eyes. We can zoom in a little bit. Let's see if we see anything moving in here. And I do. All the little tiny water fleas that are moving around in there. There's a reason why we tell folks not to drink the pond water. Life comes in so many different sizes and shapes and ways of being. It's one of the most marvelous things when you study biology, the study of life. One student in class one time said, oh my gosh, there's a whole little water world in there. That's so true. Hey there, so this is Rebecca and I have taken my pond sample and pulled out a few things under the microscope here and have it set up on my computer. This is a program called QFocus. 
it attaches by a USB port. But I'm going to set my phone here so that hopefully you can see what kinds of little microscopic critters, which look huge in here, are zipping around. There's a water flea who's fairly large and he is not happy. Zooming in and out just to kind of get an impression of different things that are in here. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Whole little water world. better into view. So this is the shell of the caddisfly larvae. There, haha, <laughs> that was the water flea. Lots of little things zipping around in there as well. This is a really fun way of seeing things differently. Biology. The study of life at so many different levels.